fuck is that sound? Anyway, hey guys, it's Dahlia. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I feel like we haven't had some one-on-one -on -one time. So here's our one-on-one -on -one time. How are you? I hope you're well. I'm well. Got a lot of fucking makeup on. Before we start this q and A, I I would like to give a big thank you to Paul Dennis because without Paul Dennis, I wouldn't have this godly experience. A really awesome lighting. Thank you, Paul, because without you, I wouldn't have had all this awesome equipment to make my videos look a lot better and more enjoyable unless like I bought everything from a potato factory. So thank you, Paul. So without further ado, I'm here to A, some of your cues that you gave me. I put out a huge little status on Twitter and Facebook and I failed to do it on Instagram. But I'm here to um, A, some of your cues because the last time I did a Q&A video, it was back in November. The first question is, John Barry, if you were leaning in a chair suddenly and realized that the chair was about to tip over from leaning too far, what food do you wish that you could be eating as the chair is tipping over? Guacamole! <laughs> Guacamole. <laughs> Wes Bennett, who would you like to see on the Iron Throne? I would like to see Daenerys Targaryen on the Iron Throne because she is actually heir to the throne for real. For real, she's the real queen. She also is pretty, pretty normal. Yep. Mad Dog Milo69 on Twitter asks, is there a cosplay you're afraid of that's too big, detailed, physically unlike you or of doing, but you want to so much? Jack from Mass Effect, I feel like I've answered this so many times. Jack from Mass Effect has a head, her head completely shaved. I like her outfit from Mass Effect 2 more than Mass Effect 3 because in Mass Effect 3, she looks like Skrillex. What I'm afraid of is shaving my head. I do not want to shave my head completely because I have my hair to the length that I like. So that is that. Omar, so so you so you old. Omar, <laughs> do I have a chance with you if I if a win a Pokemon battle against you? Okay, no. The real question is, what is your next Poke cosplay? Oh you oh, my next Pokemon cosplay actually is a Gajinka version of Articuno, who I in fact planned out all day today. I planned the costume out with a bunch of other lovely ladies and we're going to debut it at Space Coast Comic Con. Legendary Bird Group is a go. I have been planning it out since November um, and I basically threw out the entire idea that I had before, so we've revamped it. Brian Howell, what superpowers do you wish you had? I wish I had telepathy because if you had telepathy you could do just about anything. Kluki, I remember you. <laughs> More serious question, if you could live in any state besides Florida, what would you choose? I would choose any fucking state. Florida sucks. Florida has traffic, Florida has tourists, Florida has hot weather, humidity, mosquitoes, alligators, lightning, constant rain, constant hot weather, constant terrible traffic jams. This Florida man is a meme. Florida man, Florida man is a meme and it's scary. I hate Florida, just so you know. Uh, the only thing we have is Disney and then you get kids running in front of you dropping their ice cream, but I digress, Kyle. I digress. I wanna live in Washington State. Not because you can smoke weed there, that's like the go-to thing that everyone likes to say, but I wanna live in Washington State because it is absolutely gorgeous there and I really enjoy my time in Washington State. I love hiking and exploring and all that, so. Out on the West Coast is where I'm going to be probably in the next five to six years. Church. Um, favorite Massive Attack song. Mine is The Man Next Door. I like that song, that's a great song. But Church, or Jamie Church, my favorite song is Atlas Air. I really, really, really like that song. Uh, Price A. Aizen, do you cry at the end of Cowboy Bebop starting with Spike and Faye's last words to each other to when Blue starts playing? Of course. I haven't had my annual uh, run of Cowboy Bebop this year, but I need to get on that and I need to cry hysterically. Oh, sorry. GR, do you think you would ever start cosplay de-de-de-i-giving for a living or for others to just continue for yourself? Or I can't read. Um, I'm probably gonna keep cosplaying for 
for others. I That's mainly why I've been cosplaying for so long, is at first it was for me, and then I started to get some more likes and more messages about people saying that I've helped them through certain times in their life just by making costumes. Um, I'm glad you guys feel that way. I'm glad I can help you out and inspire you to go further. But uh, I mainly cosplay for you guys, actually, because it makes you happy, and it makes me happy too, but it's it's been pretty cool. I like it. Sporka of a doom uh. Are there still no bitch bubbles in this house? Uh, hold on. No, there are not still bitch bubbles in this house. Moving on. Alex Sherman Newman. Can you say it means cupboard. Swiss German language. How do you pronounce that? Fuck you! <laughs> How do you say cupboard in Swiss German? Why is it playing Pandora? It's playing Massive Attack! Seriously, I didn't plan for that. Play, damn it. No, <laughs> How do you say that? Shit, I wanna know. So I'm gonna be real with you. I looked up a video of how to say it and she says it like, motherfucker, that's like the hardest word to say in Swiss German. It's like, hookie slashly, fuck, ah. It's like, hookie slashly, something. Say hi. Hey! We were Skyping and I'm filming. Um, it's- I found a weird word. It's in dir schweizebackhecht? No, it's like, it's like hooky flop something. Here we go. Here we go. Here's how you say it out loud. Play woman. Hooky Ashley. Hooky Ashley. Fuck it! That's all the time I have for questions. I am really terrible about opening the gifts you guys give me right away. Um, I'm not good about hoarding them and having a video where I just open them and thank you So I would just like to grab all the items and just thank you for them So I would like to say thank you again to Paul Dennis for giving me this awesome lighting equipment um, This o-ring that I have that is lighting my face and also thank you so much again Paul Dennis for giving me the razor headphones that I'm wearing on my head right now because of you, my Twitch streams have been a lot more clear and more fun and enjoyable for everybody else. Also, another thank you to Josh Taylor because without you, I wouldn't have this microphone. I'm trying to figure out a use for it. I actually thought I really needed it. I still do. Um, trying to figure out how to incorporate this mic into my recordings for my YouTube videos, my tutorials that I'm going to be doing, and also my Twitch streams. This is lies. This says it's blue. It's not. It's purple. I mean, the thing is called Snowball. It's a Snowball microphone. It says blue, purple, fuck it, fuck logic. You guys have been following me on my Facebook like page, but there was an epidemic. Somebody sent me a dick pic. It was gross. The guy eventually got embarrassed and said that he's, his profile was hacked. I haven't had time to ban him yet. He hasn't sent me any more dick pics, but I don't believe that. But anyway, I responded with a banana cutter picture and somebody, um, there's no name on the, on the, the, the thing um, that I got it from, but somebody um, <laughs> sent me uh, what I believe is the exact banana cutter. And when I opened the box, like the box box that it came in, and I saw this one wrapped, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that this is the banana cutter so we can share it all in all of its glory that is the banana cutter. But there was no name on the package, so I don't have it. Um, and yes, that is ungodly. Ooh. Imagine your dick going in and then you're just cutting it. Yeah. Oh wait, do I have any bananas? Do I have any bananas? When you put a banana in the fridge, it kind of gets brown. So this is like disgusting looking, but this is the principle. Basically, here's your dick, here's the banana cutter, and it just, it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Actually, this thing works really well. I would, I would highly recommend a 10 out of 10. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, if you don't like the video, whatever. If you do like the video, you can give it a thumbs up, or you can hit subscribe, or you can comment saying I love you or something. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I put out videos every Thursday. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead. My next con is Treasure Coast Comic Con coming up next weekend. I'll be there with Nerd Bunny and Ellie Marie and... Um, I think Miss Trivia's cosplay will be there. <laughs> There's so many bananas on my desk. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna need more cowbell. Like the female the Guardians of the Galaxy. This? Yes. yes. Okay. Great. You've gotta hit that jump.